the two-time Royal Rumble winner. The personification of grit. A superstar looking to reach the pinnacle of his second mountain. There is only one rated R superstar. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Weighing in at 249 pounds. The Rated-R Superstar Edge! After spending eight years on the shelf in retirement, Edge has come back hungrier and tougher than ever. Lord of Darkness has arrived. I didn't think it'd be possible, but somehow The Undertaker has become more sinister and even more evil. All right, that's it. Yeah! And his opponent from Death Valley, weighing in at 330 pounds. The has been leading the Ministry of Darkness and spreading oh, evil in WWE. Right, but there are still so many questions about the higher power Undertaker himself claims to be at the service of. I think the question is now, who can stop the Undertaker or the Ministry? He cannot afford to back down. He cannot afford to question himself because he's got to know that Edge thrives in a combative environment. The ever-intimidating R of The Undertaker looming large around the arena. Larger than life presence is The Undertaker. So much so that you can forget how strong and how fast he is. This is a man who demands as much of his opponents as he does of himself, and he's not above flattening anyone who doesn't pass muster. We may well see him make someone famous, as the old saying goes. And we'll see what Edge has in store for him tonight. I can't imagine what sort of things Edge has already cooked up in that twisted mind of his. Yeah, Corey, sometimes it scares me how far Edge is willing to take things. We've seen how quickly Edge can snap and lose all regard for safety. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. A vice light grip applied. Raven down. And he had to think the effects of that maneuver are going to linger. He thinks he has it. He nearly avoids the count. He thought he had it. time and time again that no one is safe from his deadly grip. How do you plan for an opponent who can end the match with just one choke slam, last ride, or tombstone? I think you have to take a proactive approach. Attack. This could be it. Cover. Kicks out on the pinfall attempt. Frankly, he should have known that wasn't enough. Big forearm. Take a lot more to keep him down. And it's Edge getting out of that one. Great job refocusing to reverse that. And he sends him into the corner. Splayed across the top turnbuckle. Certainly not ideal. Uh-oh. 
Knew what was coming from Taker. Re-entering the ring now. A nice shot by The Undertaker. Now one of the best strikers in the business. Ooh, nasty shot to the throat. Boot to a gut will stop anyone in their tracks. Three count. Not yet. Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. Vicious right forearm. Two handed choke slam. And Ed seemed caught off guard by what his opponent had in store for him. Taker put that speed and power to lethal use. Made his opponent look worse for wear there. Superstar has no problem breaking the rules, and I like it. An aggressive charge against Edge now. Edge keeps getting cut off at the pass. Man. So ruthless. No quarter. Spear! Somehow took down the Undertaker. There's two. The trademark resolve of the Undertaker on display. He will not stay down. Oh boy, Edge is gonna lose it. He really thought he put the final nail coffin with that one you can sense it this crowd is on pins and needles the wwe universe is ready to erupt are we close to the beginning of the end straight impact on the throat Ooh. and again great win on your opponent edge about to be kept down permanently <laughs> what power! Rest in peace. What devastation from The Undertaker. Is it enough? The cover! Two. The Undertaker gets the W. The Undertaker wins it. That had to be one of the matches of the year. Let's take another look at some of the action. Here is your winner, The Undertaker! Celebrate this win. You deserve it for focusing up and keeping your eye on the ball. The odds were stacked against them, but they are standing tall now. Yeah, but they shouldn't expect the same results each time. They got lucky here.